If you've clicked on this video, chances are you are considering a career in cybersecurity, or maybe you're just unsure about which tech path to pursue. And the options can be overwhelming, I get it. Just four years ago, when I was trying to transition into the tech industry and change careers, I faced the exact same dilemma. And what did I do? Well, I chose front end web development over cybersecurity. Now, here is where things get really interesting. I've uncovered some real data that's gonna help you make your big decision. Hey, my name is Ayman. I'm a front end web developer who's been earning over six figures for the past past three years and I recently discovered the largest survey in the world polling cybersecurity engineers and hiring managers. Researchers poured a ton of time, money and effort into hundreds of pages of reports with exclusive insights that you need to know. And just for you, I've gone through all of the reports end to end so you don't have to. And today I'm going to reveal the three reasons backed by real data why you shouldn't start cybersecurity and why front end web development is the best choice for beginners. And as a bonus, I'm also going to give you a clear roadmap to kickstart your web development career, even without any prior IT experience or fancy degrees. So why shouldn't you choose cybersecurity? Well, firstly, 45% of hiring managers say that their organization relies heavily on education and degrees when looking for applicants. So what that means for you is if you come from a non-tech background and you're trying to change careers into tech, you're going to find it very difficult to break into cybersecurity without a college level education. So unless you want to go back to school for four years, you should probably stay clear of cybersecurity. Now, secondly, 45% of hiring managers also say that their company is reluctant to hire entry level employees. So even if you do manage to get the degree by some miracle, this creates a catch 22 situation. You need experience to get hired, but you can't get experience without getting hired. So what are you supposed to do? This preference for hands-on experience is also highlighted by this statistic here, where over 70% of hiring managers say they value entry level experience over a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity. So this puts additional pressure on beginners and even college graduates to somehow gain practical up to date experience before they can even land their first job. Now, thirdly, 75% of cybersecurity professionals view the current threat landscape as the most difficult that it has been in the last five years. So imagine you are learning to play chess, but every single week they introduce new pieces with new moves and new rule sets. That that is what entering cybersecurity as a beginner can feel like. This means you are always playing catch up, which can be overwhelming and frustrating as a beginner. And when 75% of professionals in the industry say that they are finding things difficult, you can imagine how hard things are going to be for someone who is just starting their career. So by this point, you might be asking, why is it so difficult to get into cybersecurity as a beginner? But honestly, this all makes perfect sense if you think about it. You see, just by the nature of a cybersecurity role, you are naturally going to be dealing with a lot of critical and sensitive parts of a company. And because of that, the consequences of you messing up or not having the skills or the experience to do the job correctly can be catastrophic for the company that hires you. I mean, I'm sure you've seen a ton of stories online of those crazy massive data leaks. Yahoo having 3 billion accounts leaked in 2013. Facebook having more than 500 million accounts leaked in 2019. Or Home Depot leaking more than 56 million customer credit and and debit card numbers in 2014. So because of the crazy risks that are involved, it makes sense why a company cannot risk hiring someone who doesn't have a degree or any previous experience. And for that reason, as a career transitioner or someone trying to break into the tech field, you should not be learning cybersecurity or for that matter, any field of tech that deals with a lot of sensitive parts of a company because the barrier to entry is just going to be too high. Instead, what you need to be doing is focusing on the tech parts that deal with the least amount of sensitive data possible as these are going to be the tech jobs with the lowest barrier to entry. And this is where front end web development comes in. But what exactly is front end web development? Well, think of it like this. Front end web development is what allows people to actually see and interact with a website or web application. So whenever you click on a button, fill out a form or scroll through a page, that is front end development in action. So as a front end web developer, your role is going to involve building, designing and maintaining the parts of a website website or a web application that the user can see. Whether it's Netflix, the
the online store you use to shop, the app you use to order your food, or the website you're using to watch this video. Front-end web developers are the ones who bring those user interfaces to life. And on a quick side note, if you're looking for a place to take you from absolute beginner to job-ready front-end developer in three to six months, then consider joining my one-on-one -on -one job guarantee coding bootcamp. The link will be in the description, but right back to the video. Now, why is front-end web development the best choice for beginners? Well, unlike cybersecurity, front-end web development is arguably the easiest and most accessible learning path for newcomers. There's clear starting points such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and learning these doesn't require years of experience. When I made my decision to change careers, I gave myself a six-month window to learn front-end development and land my first role. I focused on learning the fundamentals and then building projects with React, which at the time and still is the leading web development framework. And after six months, I successfully secured a front-end developer role paying $80,000 per year. And this experience demonstrated to me that the barrier to entry for this field is relatively low and surmountable in a short time frame. I mean, the software development market is booming. It's projected to reach 1.4 trillion in 2032, which is an annual growth rate of 25% year on year. And this growth translates to an abundance of job opportunities, especially at the entry level, because many organizations are willing to hire and train front end web developers who have a solid understanding of the core concepts and display a willingness to learn. You see, companies are often willing to take a chance on beginners in front end development because the learning curve isn't as steep as cybersecurity. And a lot of the time you're not dealing with much or even any sensitive data. Now, the good thing is once you land your first role as a front end developer, this does not mean that you have to stay in front end development forever. You see, now that you have your foot in the door and actually have some IT experience under your belt, you're going to find it a lot easier to transition into the other fields of tech because you actually have some experience that we can put on your resume and leverage. And don't just take my word for it. Let's look at the stats. We can clearly see that 52% of cybersecurity professionals worked a non cybersecurity IT position before they were able to break into the cybersecurity field. And this tells us everything we need to know on how to get into a high barrier to entry field such as cybersecurity. The easiest and most efficient way to do this is with what I call the leapfrog method. Start your tech journey with an accessible, low barrier to entry field, such as front end web development, land your first role in that field. And then once you have some real IT work experience under your belt, we can then leverage that experience to get you into those higher barrier to entry fields, such as cybersecurity. This is the strategy that more than half of cybersecurity professionals have used to break into the field. So I'm not making this up. The truth is literally in the numbers. Now, as promised, here is a step-by-step -step roadmap to get you started. First, you need to learn the basics of web development. The fastest way to do that is by watching my free one hour and 30 minute course right here on YouTube. I'll walk you through exactly what to learn, how to learn it, and how to avoid wasting months watching tutorials that don't actually get you hired. And I'll pop up that course somewhere on the screen at the end of the video. So just watch till the end. Next, you need to follow what I call the three X learning strategy. So for every single technology or programming language you learn, I want you to follow these three steps. Start by watching a crash course to get a big picture understanding of all the theory, build three guided projects with tutorials to learn how to use that theory in the real world, and then finish by building a solo project from scratch completely on your own to test your real world skills. This is the exact learning method I use to go from working in a warehouse to landing a front-end developer role in under six months. Now, once you have the fundamentals down, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you'll move on to frameworks like React and Next.js and start building a portfolio that actually gets you interviews. And then after that, it's all about gaining real experience. You'll start by taking on freelance projects for local businesses, family, friends, and you'll use that to build real proof of work. Then once you have a few solid freelance projects under your belt, you'll start applying for front and developer roles. If you follow this roadmap step by step, you can go from complete beginner to landing your first job in tech in the next three to six months. So the choice is yours. You can either keep watching random tutorials and hoping something sticks, or you can take action and follow a proven roadmap that's already landed hundreds of students jobs. So click the video that's somewhere on the screen now and start with the one hour and 30 minute free course. And I'll show you exactly how to transition into tech, even if you've never written a line of code in your life.